Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome to AppCoder. I am Satyendra and today I am going to show you how we can install dependency using Swift Package Manager. So what is Swift Packages? According to Apple, Swift Packages create reusable code, organize it in a lightweight way and share it across Xcode projects and with other developers. In this tutorial, I am going to use Elmo Fire as our targeted dependency. So there are multiple ways to install uh, dependency. You can uh, install it manually or you can install it by Cocoa Pods, Carthage or Swift Package Manager. If you are not aware of Cocoa Pods, if you don't know how to install dependency using Cocoa Pods, you can watch my previous video. We will discuss Carthage later and our current task is to do install dependency using Swift Package Manager. So let's focus on it. This is our dependency path and this is our package URL. So we need to copy this URL. This is the most important part of this uh, Swift package manager or you can uh, use this website to get this package URL here. There is a website called uh, Swift package index. So let's uh, search LMO fire here. Okay, uh, that's the Elmo fire, select it and uh, use this option, use this package. Uh, now you can copy this package URL by clicking here. Uh, this package URL is copied. So let's go to the project and uh, click on files button. And now we need to uh, select this add packages option. Okay, and paste that URL over here. This is uh, for searching the UR, uh, dependency and uh, as you know, uh, we can see Elmo fire dependency here. You can set your dependency rule here. You can set it to uh, a particular branch or a particular commit. But in our case, we can select this major version up to the major version and click on this add package button. Again, click on this add package button. As you can see, this package dependency Elmo fire is already added to our project. If you want to remove that dependency, you can uh, remove from here. Okay. Uh, if you want to check uh, by importing this uh, Elmo fire here, you, uh, you, you need to first build your project and import this Elmo fire. As you can see, uh, now you can import that dependency as we uh, that means uh, the feature of all all the feature of that Elmo fire dependency. Now you can uh, use in your project. So that is it for today, guys. And if you have any doubts, any queries, you can ask me in comment. And uh, if you are new to here, please subscribe the channel. Please like the video and share the video. Bye bye.